in the early days of me doing this, you'd get these people who would say, oh, I don't like that. I like real instruments, real, you know, I, I like real things. And I was like, well, how do you define real? Is if something ha uses electricity, does that make it not real? Because in fact, we're electric. You know, whenever you have the slightest thought, immediately electrical impulses go from your brain through all your nervous system to talk to your hand and cause you to, to, to reach for something or to jerk back because it feels uh, you've touched something that's too hot or anytime you do anything, any effort with your muscle generates electricity. So um, real or natural is kind of like a meaningless construct in my opinion. Um, so, uh, but I do understand that some people think that using electronics or using technology um, is somehow cold and not human. And it can be. It just depends on in whose hands it is. But if you think about technology, some of the most sophisticated technology came before we started using digital and electronic stuff. Like if you just think of like the pianoforte, that's an incredibly sophisticated techno techno uh, piece of technology that people use to play music with, you know. Um, and I imagine that there was a time when people were like, no, plectrums are better. This weird thing with all these levers and hammers in it is unnatural. <laughs> you know, I'm sure that people thought that when, when those were new. Um, so anyway, what I'm trying to say is I think what makes art human is the human that's creating it. And it's not so much the matter of what the tools that they're using, but how they use them and what they do with them. And um, but I do understand, I mean, I'm not naive. I do understand that for a lot of people, the work probably seems a lot warmer to them just because I'm in it and I'm a body. I'm a warm body and I sing and I make a vocal sounds and, and I do physical gestures that might seem, you know, very human to, to them. Um, and that that's always a, in combination with the technology that I'm using. So I'm always getting that comment from people like, oh, well, your, your electronic music is, is nice because it feels more human. It feels warm to me. Um, but there's plenty of gorgeous music that's being made by artists who don't use their own bodies in, in it other than to stroke a trackpad or twiddle a knob. Um, and still they create these really moving, um, beautiful soundscapes and, and um, textures and timbres and use speaker arrays to surround people with really even sometimes very organic feeling uh, sound uh, pieces and so on and so forth. So I think it's all about the actual nature of the work itself.